Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And right now we're doing a recipe that my friend Tom Ryan says is my recipe, but I say it's his recipe. And it really is his recipe. Maybe we've gotten ideas from each other, but I'm going to give credit to him. He would be the first person to say, no, no, credit to you. But maybe it's, so be maybe it. it's my recipe. <laughs> we'll call it that. But it's a great recipe about how to get greens into your morning oats. Not with her savory, but with sweet still. And the way it starts is with a banana smashed in one cup of water. So now, we're choosing a brown banana, and let's get that and in And this, and, and you know, banana, a, a banana milk is amazing. Which and, is just banana and water. Which is just banana and water, and you could put it in a blender and make it as a drink. And here is a very quick way to do it. It just... I'll take that skin and get... Mush it into the water. And now we're assuming that he, Tom Ryan meant a brown banana when he said to make, to blend one banana in one cup of water. So we're doing it. And the water, there's one <laughs> cup of water in this bowl. Yeah, and put one cup of water and one banana and she's a smash it. But I want to talk about Tom for a minute. And he has written, he, he, there's too much to say about him, but please check out his book called Following Atticus. And I'm gonna have Wade fly it in here. And it is this astounding story about where his life was and where it has gone. And he has a follow-up book, well, a number of books, but this next one is about how plant-based eating has been part of his path. And I'll just say this. He was a sick, sick person um, for a while with many things wrong with his body. And he, um, one of those was that he was way overweight. I think he'd be okay with me saying that. And he would follow his dog Atticus up all these 4,000 foot peaks and then higher peaks and higher peaks and doing 48 peaks in the winter time raising money for animal shelters and this and that all while being this amazing raconteur of all that's happening on these adventures and so many followers on his blog and his Facebook and this and that anyway he travels half of the year almost hiking all over the place with his dogs Atticus has since passed, and he has two dogs now named Sam Wise, after a character in You Know What, and Emily, after an amazing poet whose last name is Dickinson. So anyway. Who is Sam, Sam Wise? I, Sam Wise? I don't know. Oh, Frodo's best friend, Sam Wise Gamgee. Oh. Um, in, from the Hobbit, from the Lord of the Rings Hobbit the series, the, uh, I'm going to give credit where credit is due, the author of that is, oh my God. Tolkien. Thank you. I was I was thinking like Jay, I was thinking of Rowling, Rowling, Harry Potter, Tolkien. Anyway, so so Tom's books are wonderful, so calming. I love reading them before going to sleep because it's just this calming, great Actually, stories. I have really loved his pieces. Um, you get his blog. His blog. <laughs> they are very, very engaging, and they okay. make me want to travel all over the world in all these beautiful places well, all when the nobody States. is there, go yes. at odd times. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm so, making banana milk just with a fork. I'm so impressed. Well, and I, the reason I did this is that Tom spent so much time traveling from, you know, this little um, quiet. He has to have something he does. The Airbnb, just, his car, a motel. He doesn't have like blenders. Maybe he does. I don't know, Tom. Um, or immersion blenders, but um, so we're doing it with a fork because it could be that easy. Chara Nolan just gave uh, me something called a little coffee twizzle or tw whirler, and I don't have it here. A frother? But it would have, yes. That would have been would perfect. Be perfect. Okay. Perfect. So what Tom does then is he puts the banana milk into the pot. I'm going to make sure I read it correctly here. Bring the banana milk to a simmer and add the oats and cauliflower. So the cauliflower, riced cauliflower, is our secret green. So this is a bag of... Um, Here is the banana milk. Woo! Well done. And we're going to add... Um, well, he would he bring this to the boil, but we're going to sort of... Tom, we're breaking the rules here. We're going to... He says... He bring the banana milk. Oh, it smells so good. Smell that. Yeah. Um, I, I and to a simmer that. and add the oats and cauliflower. And then actually we'll follow his rules. We're going to bring this to a simmer. Once we have this simmering, we're going to add in the oats and the cauliflower. So we'll be right back. So while we're having the banana milk come to a simmer, we're going to get prepared for the next things that Tom adds. And he talks about having two dates that he chops up and um, finally chops, or how does he describe it? 
he, wait, half a teaspoon of blueberries, the bowl, oats, kahar, almond powder, and tailspin cinnamon. Oh, and two chopped dates, yes. So we're gonna have these chopped ready to go. And I have the feeling that, you, that this would be good even without the dates because the banana makes it so sweet. I would be surprised if you need the sweetness of, of dates. Well, when you're hiking a bazillion miles a day, like he, Sam Wise, and Emily does, he, I think the dates are a good thing. Oh, totally. I'm just commenting. Yeah, if you're for, not going for all those not, hikes, if maybe you're not have hiking. one date. I don't know. We haven't even tried this. So he, and again, he thinks that we gave this. The one thing that we did do is we have talked about trying to get greens into our oatmeal in the morning when you don't have an Ann Esselstyn savory oat mushroom uh, shiitake kale witch's brew going. Um, but when you want to have your, what is usually, you know, a typical, you know, oatmeal with blueberries kind of morning, um, this is a wonderful way to do that. So we're going to add now, because I, I hear this simmering. Oh, do you see this back here? See that simmering? Simmer, simmer, simmer. That looks great. So we're going to add... Can you get in there and look at the book of the oats, the banana frothy, frothy. So we're going to add the oatmeal, and this is this is half a cup of rice cauliflower. That's going to bring everything to a halt. It's so frozen. Okay, and we're going to let this do its thing for a little bit. So I'm going to review what we have going on over here. We've got. One banana in one cup of milk that Anne sort of mixed up, mixed up into like banana milk. And then we added that to the pot um, where we have half a cup of riced cauliflower and half a cup of steel cut oats. And those are simmering over there. And now and they cook for like he says roughly 12 to 15 minutes. We have been trained under the master here who cooks her steel cut oats for six to eight minutes. <laughs> Mostly, it oftentimes cooks for 30 minutes for most people. But anyway, uh, so this is cooking away. And while it's cooking, we're going to add a capful of almond extract to, and will you pour that in over there? And we're going to add two chopped dates. And this is going to add to the flavor and the sweetness. And almond extract, if you've had it, um, almond extract tastes like, like such a unique cookie. Amaretto or, cookies. Uh, amaretto. Here, and here's two dates. Uh, just chopped up. This is going to add an amazing amount of fiber and sweetness. And this is wonderful just in, t in, in, in place of, you know, people adding maple syrup or other. This is a wonderful sweetness. The dates are going to just allow you to climb mountains and have really descend good. into valleys and feel totally happy. And have empty bowels. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. So, oh my gosh. Back up a little bit because this, I want you to. Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. Can you smell that? It's just, what is that? Al Amaretto has such a. Uh, is it macaroon? What does that taste? It's a. Oh, Tom, well played there. I would have put vanilla in and it wouldn't have had that amazing flavor. Okay, so we have a capful of almond extract and two chopped dates in there. And. Jane, this looks done. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think it is. So, what. what uh, he does next is he puts a half a cup of, of frozen blueberries in the bowl. So you're gonna bring it over and let that rest right there. And um, oh, thanks. And half a cup of blueberries in the bowl. We're gonna eyeball this. Half a cup of frozen blueberries in the bowl. Oh, these are these are um, wild blueberries, which yummy, yummy. This is more like this is like a true this bear is in the woods. This an amazing combination. Oh, those many bears in the woods. So look, we've got. Here, top shot. Look at those yummy berries. What a clever idea to put the frozen berries in and then the hot oatmeal. Woo! And then Tom adds a teaspoon of amla powder. We don't amla. have that. I have it, but I just forgot to bring it over. It's made from gooseberries. Okay, well, I've got real gooseberries. I'm going to put some gooseberries, Tom. How about no, that? No, no, no. No? I love my gooseberries. This is just for my good measure, because Tom thinks this is mine. I think this is his. Plop, plop. <laughs> fizz, fizz. Um, okay, and then also we, he puts, oh, wait, where did he put cinnamon in? Are we too late? Um, all Here. powder and cinnamon. Wait. Oh, you put the cinnamon on top? No, no, no. You, you, no it's fine. Oh, I was going to let you mix it. You're going to stir okay, it. Okay, they, they can stick. We can, so we're going to put that in. Okay, now stir it all together. Here, let's get a big stir 
for all deep a deep stir of the blueberries the cinnamon the omelet powder <laughs> and the gooseberries which have not been powdered oh tom this is so gross oh, here come the blueberries here come the blueberries you want to stir that for a second um i and then he adds some flaxseed meal which i had out did we put it away we clean up a little bit between cooking things sometimes and it somehow got put away so we're going to add in um a tablespoon of flaxseed meal just like and this is everything important to eat and then on top of it all he adds a sprinkle of dry oats <laughs> Ta, this is beautiful i hope you guys have as much fun doing this as we do um with tom's permission we will post the recipe below tom i'm covering the gooseberries so that you can see how it should look tom's way yes he's cut well on the powder all right i think we need to taste this oh i can't wait i think we need to taste this and i want a live gooseberry golden berry on top well, here i'll bring one around but, oh okay well <laughs> okay cheers To Max, Atticus, Samwise, Emily, and all mm. the other dogs you've had. And your journey, Tom. This will take you to great heights of uh, everything. Mmm. Mm. That's really good. Wait. Try this. Try that. It is yummy. Mmm. Isn't that a good way to start the morning? That's amazing. So sweet. 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 But in a good way. Yeah. No, but not not like sweet, but it's just like, yeah. Mm. I it's could really eat a pound sweet. of that, I think. You could eat a pound of that. All right. <laughs> we'll give you a ball. Yeah. Well, cheers. We hope you enjoy these oats. We've yet to name them clearly, but I think we're going to call them it's Tom Ryan's plant, oats. Plant based Tom Ryan's mountain climbing <laughs> oats. Should we sit with that one? Great. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Jane, you're the master of titles. Oh. Bye bye. Bye.